for singing MCR. Yeah. Oh, singing MCR, that was said in a very tough, non-voice cracky sense of the word. Thank you, at least that makes fun of us. Friends, I've said it a lot, I'll continue to say it. I'm going to say it a million times after the show, and of course on Twitter where you can give us a follow at WildRestingCA. But thank you guys all for attending this evening. Unfortunately, despite that wonderful send-off that we would have given the evening singing, we have one more match. This is your main event of the evening! And That's great, I just thought Spencer talking was going to be They do. They do love you. I think it's going to his head. Oh, it's heavy metal. What's he doing in the Force Love Impact Zone? Yeah. In a different side, we've seen Michael Richard Blaze. Somebody in the audience is really loving this. Our song choices go pretty good. That was tremendous. I love the Everly Brothers. I hear a lot of uh, the Everly Brothers. I just don't know what to make of this. He is God's gift to wrestling. You have to excuse us if we're a little quiet here, folks. Here comes MRB, a very different MRB that we were used to before the pandemic. Now known as our savior? Yeah, formerly God's gift to wrestling. sure if anybody asked for any saving but we're gonna get we're gonna get some here tonight michael richard blaze he's right into the crowd walking through right now in front of us he's ready to save somebody if he's looking for his uh, person to save <laughs> the ring's down here you see he must be saving them one by one greeting them individually
Kraut sings his name. When you talk about an Alberta wrestling legend, you gotta really look no further than this matchup we have here as the main event. Well, both like two legends. Uh, <laughs> Ravenous Randy Myers, Michael Richard Blaze, aka formerly known as Chucky. Uh, these two guys have been wrestling, it started in Alberta, started with each other, been wrestling against each other for years, but it has been a tick since they've been in the ring together. That being said, a lot of animosity leading up to tonight's show. Love Wrestling, Force Pro Wrestling changed the game on, on social media. You've seen the Twitter messages, you've seen the posts back and forth taunting each other, reminiscing of the days of past and seemingly there has been some ill will held on to throughout the years, though it has been a long time since the two have met in the ring. We might be coming to a, to a head here tonight. Well, you know, coming from someone who is in the locker room, I've heard stories for years of the beef be between these two gentlemen. Uh, Ravenous Randy Myers used to be a much different person, so did Michael Richard Blaze. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they've grown and are now facing each other as pertains to how they were in the past. And there he is, your weirdo hero. The history here speaks for itself. Both guys growing up in Calgary, coming up around the same time, learning from some of the same people, influenced by a lot of the same people. Then Randy went off to Vancouver, and uh, that left a spot open here for a young Michael Richard Blaze to uh, ascend to the top of the various rosters. And in the meantime, uh, Ravenous Randy Myers has done well for himself. I mean, you're Defy champion. What a ragdoll. <laughs> Former ECCW champion, Stampede heavyweight champion, ASW's cruiserweight champion, trained under Ross and Bruce Hart in the dungeon. Ravenous Randy Myers, I mean, it speaks for himself, really. Two absolute legends getting ready to meet I have to say that, you know, the ravenous Randy that I've worked with in the past, uh, the mohawked punk, is a lot different now in this weirdo vibe. I, I honestly enjoy it. You know, over time, you, you tend to find yourself, right? None of us. Who, who amongst us are the same as we were 15 years ago and haven't changed? Some for the better, some for the worse. Better not be talking about me. Uh, not you as a person. <laughs> Perhaps just the style choices of your wardrobe is more so what I was getting at there. You're a wonderful I person. A lot of pageantry happening right now. It's the fans reaching out to Ravenous Red Miles. There's a very clear bond between the fans and Myers here tonight already. You got to wonder, maybe some of this, a bit of mind games as well leading into this match. Absolutely, and I, I before. yeah, no, I think I think that's something Randy does really well is mind games, and uh, that's something that MRB has really gotten quite used to doing, working through his mind games. So maybe Randy stepped it up against MRB here tonight. MRB really seeming still very very focused, not taking his eyes off of his opponent so far, but has been quite a spectacle before that. I mean, the match hasn't even officially started yet. No, and Randy's getting a good whiff of the MRB jacket. And rubbing it. Okay. He's the weirdo hero. So we're about to get started here. Personally, uh, Judge Uman looks a little bit nervous having to deal with 
both of these very large personalities in one match. Nobody quick, uh, neither man quick to start the action here in this match. Maybe again, still feeling things out. A lot of years in the making this match is. I suck. I suck. You left me. I made this happen. This is mine. They are mine. with a big elbow. Both men trading words. Yeah, you can't heal ish, man. There is uh, there is a lot of animosity and a lot of emotion between the two. He's, after taking an elbow, Myers looking for a kiss. MRB wasting no time, locking the headlock in. I mean, we heard the words there from both men. Michael Richard Blaze claiming that all of this is possible because of him, claiming that because Myers left, he had to do it all on his own. And honestly, that's not necessarily completely untrue. No, well, but you know, it's been, uh, I think it's been well over a decade since these two have faced each other, so. Lord only knows which way it's going to go now. And Randy seems to have MRB in a bit of a pickle here with his index finger. <laughs> oh! An open hand slap. And oh, MRB out to the, out to the outside there. Kind of pulling the ro ring rope down. That's well, just a veteran absolute veteran move by Randy Myers there. He understands the ring. He understands how to mess with his opponent. Threw him out and then dove out. Has him out here chopping a hole in his chest. Given the, uh, the, the Love Pro Wrestling faithful quite a show right out uh, right out front here. Now, what is this? Getting the cat Whoa. back. In, well, is that a headlock there? The unorthodox style of ravenous Randy Myers already coming into play here early on in this matchup. I do believe that's actually his middle name is unorthodox. Is that? Oh, okay. Yeah. Now we know. MRB, though, back into the ring with a little acrobatics himself. Planting him big with a spine buster. A little spine on the pine action, if you will. Just elbows. Big elbows going for a cover. Myers kicks out after one. There seems to be a lot more animosity, perhaps, coming from the side of MRB towards his what is seemingly former friend at this point. Yeah, no, you can you can definitely see that. You can definitely see the rage, the anger. I mean, Randy just no, 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 no. seems like he's here for a good time, but Happy MRB, here, absolutely. Yeah, but MRB looks like he's here to hurt Randy. So far, that's pretty much what he's been doing. Wearing down his opponent now. Maybe roll him over here into a pin. Oh, but look yeah, at that. This is Randy. This is smart. Look at that reversal. Oh, and the kicks to the spine. <laughs> Again, the innovative offense of ravenous Randy Myers flipping that into a submission of his own. 
Oh, but he gets planted into the second turnbuckle. Big strikes here from MRP. As he screams with rage again, just pure unfiltered rage towards his opponent. He claims to be the savior. Not saving much in the tank as far as what he's going through so far in this match. Oh, in a very bad spot here is Myers. Oh, driven neck first into that bottom rope. He's holding that Adam's apple. It looks like he's struggling to breathe. The ref starts to count here. Again, maybe a bit of mind games from Michael Richard Blaze. Kicking him out of the ring, claiming that it's his. Out of the ring with a big chop to the chest. Right back at him, though. Trading shots out here on the floor. Stiff shots, if I may add. Uh, maybe a lower kick there from Michael Richard Blaze. Crowd chanting for what is the official here. Let's go, Ben. I believe that's what it was. Yes. Oh, look at this. Step oh, on him. Oh. Big boot to the side of it, right to the temple. That's a good way to rupture an eardrum. Break an orbital bone. Still kicking out at one, though. I mean, for all that we've seen on the offensive side from Michael Richard Blaze, ravenous Randy Myers. Again, kicking out at one. Seeming Who kicks unsafe. a guy in his ear? Who kicks a guy in his ear? Oh. Apparently, Michael Richard Blaze does. Throwing him in the corner. Taking his time, though, not following up. And big knee oh. right to the chin of ravenous Randy Myers. It looks like he's just holding him there. Yeah, Randy is completely ragdolled out on, no longer on his feet. That one definitely, definitely rocked him. You see shaking the cobwebs out now. We've seen in the past, I mean, the educated feet of Michael Richard Blaze. Really set something up here as Michael Richard Blaze almost, dare I say, Randy Orton-esque? Oh, that's because he's setting up for the Brain Buster. And if you know brain Michael Richard Blake, yeah, if you know him well enough, the Brain Buster usually means the end of all things. Oh, but it gets countered, though. Oh, what? The back of the head there. Countered again. Counter into, could it be a? Oh, no, it's no, it's not a sharpshooter. It's a roll up. That's two. Oh, kicks out. The quick counters of Ravenous Randy Myers. Quick feet. Oh. Richard Blaze getting underneath there. Oh, he's got him tucked in that corner. Look out now. In. Oh! Yeah. Right to the face. Super oh. kick to the head. That face pinned under that top turnbuckle. Right through the wickets. Now asking the crowd to sing with him. The crowd does not seem to want to sing his song, so. He's got some pretty sick dance moves, so. Can't, can't take that away from him. Again, might be might be setting up for something here. Myers still in that same position on the top turnbuckle. Oh, and again, oh. super kick. Myers, if he wasn't out, he is now. Yep. I got him like, draped in a, in a torture rack now. Does Michael Richard Blaze? Going to see a Death Valley driver here? Are we going to see a spin? Spinning. Looks like Randy is trying to get out of this spin. Man, a bit of life there from Myers as he does. He does oh, counter it. Beautiful. A pin. Hold up. That's two. Two. Richard Blaze just barely kicking out. That's twice. 
Ravenous Randy Myers has come that close two different occasions so far in this match to catching Michael Richard Blaze off guard with a quick counter into a pin. Might be a foreshadowing of how this match might end up. Big kick there from Michael Richard Blaze, followed by another, and a third, and a fourth. Missing the fifth, though. Oh. Myers with a kick of his own, taking Michael Richard Blaze down. Both men now on the ground. It's so interesting to see the parallels of these two as they kick each other. They're so absolutely similar in the way that they're they're kicking each other. Like it's it's like you're seeing two sides of the same half here. And maybe that's where all this animosity, all this buildup has come from, is that they see each other within each other. Again, we talked about it earlier, having us Randy Myers, some of his accomplishments. Michael Richard Blaze, training under similar people. TJ Wilson, a.k.a. Tyson Kidd, first stepped in the ring at 13 years old as Michael Richard Blaze. As he gets thrown into that bottom turnbuckle, the sunset flip powerbomb almost. Yeah, I was going to say, that's like, a, that's like a sunset flip powerbomb. Youngest ever Stampede Wrestling Commonwealth Champion as well. Seen him on the WWE shows here and there as well. Right now he finds himself in a very bad spot at the hands of Ravenous Randy Myers. As you said, both these men, big stiff shots here. Finally very similar throughout this matchup. Very close to one another. Oh, and a big shot there, taking him down to the ground. Nice flurry of offense. From the punk punk. On a senton. Going for another cover. Plays kicks out at two. Could it possibly be a case of maybe these guys know each other too well? How does one get the upper hand, even though it has been as long as it has, that is? How, how do you how do you beat a guy that that you you've grown up with, you've trained with, that you know so well? Yeah, and that's that's the thing is you see each of them countering multiple times out of each each's moves. That it's almost like yeah, yeah there's a bit of a stalemate there, you know. Like they, they just uh, they know each other so well. But what do you do when you're almost facing yourself in the ring? Again, we've just seen two counters. Again. Michael Richard Blaze looking to maybe set up a... Yeah. Are we going to see the sharpshooter? Myers kicks out, though. On Blaze Kick. straight out of the ring. Kicks him right out. Back in. Oh! My, was that... It was like a flash speed cycle? Maybe. We haven't seen Ravenous Randy Myers pull that out in years. He hasn't used that in, and there's a cover, two. Michael Richard Blaze kicking out. Maybe that's exactly what we were talking about, That is Somebody, I mean, we've seen Ravenous Randy Myers pull out a move that he hasn't used in 10 plus years. And he's reaching to the bottom of the old tickle trunk here. Is uh, any way to be able to get one up on MRB? And a move that I'm sure Michael Richard Blaze will would have seen at one point, but probably or, wasn't expecting to see happen tonight. Or most li likely would have taken back in 2005, 2006. Very good point. We've got a double underhook here now. MRB though, count countering out of it. Taking him down to one knee. Double underhook of his own here. Did he just say... Got him up. Very bad spot to be in if you're Randy Byers. Oh, he plants with a firebomb in the pin. That's two. What did he, I miss what he said at the beginning there. What was he saying? That was toasted bagel. As he says, I'm sorry, I love you, and plants him with, again, a move of his own that Michael Richard Blaze hasn't done for 10, 15 years. Both of these guys pulling out all of the stops digging very deep into their bag of tricks mrb just, seeming seeming to not believe that he hasn't won this match yet no he he absolutely in his mind thought he got three there 
That's very close, but at least Randy Meyer is able to kick out before the hand strikes the mat for the third time. Kissing his, kissing his knee. Oh, he got his trunks. Trying to maybe go for a brain buster there again with a big elbow there. Oh, and a back suplex. Like maybe both guys maybe took a little bit of the hit on that one. Well, Randy's been pretty beat up since taking that. What was it? Toasted bagel? <laughs> Toasted bagel. But he goes for a cover here. Two. Oh. oh. Very close to a three count there. Maybe again catching him off guard. Maybe a middle, a bit of disbelief there from Ravenous Randy Myers as well. And Myers looking like he's going to be first back to his feet. Here he is. Speaking of Myers' feet, look at those amazing chucks. Man, that guy's got style. A nice parachute looking for oh yeah michael richard blaze rolls through though he's got a burst pin. energy not a pin no oh and another attempt at the sharpshooter looks like he might be trying to lock it in he's got a step through though with that right leg he looks like he might have it here Look, myers holding on to the leg and anyone who's trained with the hearts knows the sharpshooter all too well oh one behind there it is it is in now <sighs> Both of these men have uh, been on both ends of this move many times throughout their career. Myers inching yeah, close, he does get the bottom rope. MRB pleading with referee Ben, Judge Uman. I <laughs> enjoy Ben trying to assert a little something at the end there. <laughs> Went it right back to him. Did you just check his heart rate? He might have. I mean, my pulse is pretty high throughout this match as well. It's been my pretty pulse crazy. As well. Like, uh, maybe MRB was waving at the fans and telling them to, I don't know what he's doing here. Went up to the, the back top. up. Is he honestly contemplating? What the hell is he thinking? No, I, no, no. You can't. Is he going to suplex him? You can't do that. There's glass wall. There's. Concrete floor. There's tables, chairs. Both, both men, ow, oh, battling up there. Headbutt. Two headbutts. Oh, they, they broke the hold. Myers now getting to the top rope himself. Is see a Frankensteiner here? Or a suplex of his own? RB. Oh, looking like maybe a superplex. Got the hook in, but now releasing it. MRB getting out. Oh, Myers slipping though, getting caught on that top rope, and and MRB goes to the outside. Now back in amongst the fans, as we saw him attempting to save them earlier. Oh, and a super kick. Oh, and the weirdo hero is upside down and out. Caught. He's caught at that leg. I think the right leg is caught under that top turnbuckle. He's pretty much stuck there in the. Call it the tree of woe, if you will. Oh, woe is Randy Myers. MRB is now, now back into the ring on the opposite corner. It's a top rope. Be. Is he thinking? The fans seem to think that fans he is know. thinking we're, we're coast to coast. Thinking. There's no way. He can't. He can't. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. With a, with a sent on flip on top of it. Dropping the leg perfectly onto Meyer's face. That has to be it. MRB going for the cover here. That's two. Oh. And Myers just barely kicks out with one finger pointing to the sky. Perhaps signaling that might have been his last final ditch effort. His last F to give. Oh, my Lord. What an incredible move from Michael Richard Blaze going coast to coast with a flip. Dropping the back of the leg onto the face of Myers. Oh, and a big knee now. Into the face of Myers again. One, two. Leg hook. Oh. Again, kicking out at two. Get up, get up, get up, get up. 
it was a frustration again yeah. boiling over. Oh, and again with a big boot to the side of the head. Myers shaking it off though. Look back to his feet before MRB. What are we seeing here? I don't know, but Myers I think MRB is as dumbfounded as we are. Just pointing to Heel. Asking for a kiss? Weirdo. Weirdo hero. Kiss me. Kiss make up? Is he looking to just both walk away from this match? Is. MRB now going off the ropes, going for another kick to the side of the head. Ducks it. Myers got him up. Oh, the, I believe that's the get well soon. What the hell just happened? I I am in awe. And what? Oh, now MRB rolling him up with a big awesome. He got him. What? Is that three? The MRB. Denied the kiss. Gets hit with the get well soon and rolls up ravenous Randy Myers for the three count. Even Randy looks confused. But what? <laughs> what an absolutely bizarre finish to this absolute instant classic of a match here at the main event. Love Wrestling, Force Pro Wrestling, change the game. It's, just, it's like it's almost cathartic for MRB here. He, he seems to be just writhing in joy that he was able to get a win. But Randy, Randy's applauding him. In that ear that he took the boot in earlier, but just applauding him, getting the crowd to applaud him. I mean, you can see how much it meant to Michael Richard Blaze, this match. It looks like he's almost crying. He's about to say maybe letting go of all that anger, but it may, yeah, he he's, still maybe be there. Years of anger just melting away in a moment of joy. He got a pin over that. Yeah, fear on his face there. Getting that seal of approval from Myers as well with the applause and he said encouraging the fans to show their love to Michael Richard Blaze. I'm still trying to figure out what the hell we saw at the end of that match. Randy's going to give us a few words here. To tie this up in a nice little bow. Randy, 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 Randy. It's been nine years since I last wrestled right here in Edmonton. Is that that joke? I was 20 years old. Thanks, Carlos. But I didn't leave you. What I did was I left you in good hands. Ladies and gentlemen, friends of all genders, MRP, your savior of wrestling. Get a better endorsement than that. Massive show of respect there from Ravenous Randy Myers. Losing the match, yet still acknowledging that the better man won the match. Now they're going to meet again face to face. Myers extending the hint. And MRB slapping oh, it away. Oh boy. Oh boy. Maybe this wasn't as cathartic for MRB as we would all think. You're not liking the... And a hug from Michael Richard Blaze. 
Perhaps finally completely releasing all of that pent-up aggression and hatred. There you go. A beautiful sign of respect to amazing competitors. What an amazing main event. Years. Years and years in the making. Finally coming to head. Oh, my oh. God. That son of a bitch. Michael Richard Blaze with a low blow after hugging ravenous Randy Myers. Oh, all the respect I have for Randy Myers. I have to say, MRB in this moment, you know, the Savior stuff I don't quite understand, but MRB in this moment has proved his worth. He, we've said it all for years, he is the top of Alberta wrestling, but look at him. He's serious. Well, it's not pretty enough to just prove it in the ring. You have to embarrass your, your opponent like that after you've already beaten him by low blow, kicking him like that, leaving him high and dry now at the end of this match, at the end of this night of great professional wrestling here in the City of Champions. Savior does as he wishes. What does this mean for the future? Now what happens? And now what happens in the next, I mean, this is our inaugural Love Wrestling, change the game. Does Randy Myers come back again? Well, I certainly hope he does. I feel like there's some unfinished business here after what we just saw. <laughs> Randy seems know. to be enjoying the crowd, though. They're seemingly unfazed by the events that transpired, although. I love wrestling, and I love all of you. <laughs> Thank you and come back and support Indy Wrestling! I think that's one thing we can all agree on and a perfect way to end off. Support Indy Wrestling. Get out there. There is wrestling in your backyard. Go watch it. The seats are amazing. The action's amazing, as you can see right here. And Spencer Love just got it. Little taste of the weirdo at the end. <laughs> A big kiss from the weirdo here, though. <laughs> yeah, that, that. I like it. And I ain't talking about the rest. <laughs> Holy shit, guys, you did it! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you, some of us, thank you! Thank you, everyone! This has been the first. I hope, I pray, I eat, pray, love, story, war, and wherever we are. Son of a bitch. Let us off. I got a feeling we're going to see you guys in the new year more often than just one time. So stay tuned. Stay tuned to the love wrestling does. I appreciate you being great to me. You know that other bullshit that I do outside. I'm putting on great professional wrestling events. Thank you guys for supporting me. I love you, Jennifer. Have a great day. Well, on behalf of uh, my friend, my colleague, Thaddeus Sarcher III, my name is Warren Diesel Barris. Thank you, everybody, who has been a part of Love Wrestling Force Pro Wrestling. Change the game here at the Rec Room South. We hope to talk to you again soon.